Hey Divination, welcome to our brand new mini-series, 5 Impressive Gallery Layouts and How to Use Them. Galleries are one of the most important web design tools today. So whether you are a photographer, graphic designer or a business owner that wants to showcase their portfolio, the DV Gallery module does a very good job of that. The goal of this mini-series and all our mini-series is to provide you with free, fun and practical web design exercises that will improve your mastery of the DV WordPress theme one day at a time. So this is the final design we'll be working towards in today's quick tip. So as you can see, all these images are all grayscale. But the moment you hover over the image, they all start coming to life. And if you click on the image, it enlarges and then you can cycle through these to see the rest of the images in the gallery. Now when you're done with that, click the X and then that takes you out and back into the gallery. Right, so before we get started, there's a few things that we need to um, have in place in order for us to achieve this design. So firstly, you're going to need 12 images with size uh, with the size of about 1200 by 1000 pixels and make sure that these images are royalty free and the website we use for this is unsplash.com the next thing you're going to need is the css code which i'll link in the show notes below right so let's dive in let me show you how we managed to achieve this gallery design okay so the first thing you need to do is to make sure that you're in your wordpress dashboard so i'm going to click on wordpress dashboard so we're going to create a new page and I'm going to call this page G5. And then I'm going to click on use a div builder. And then I'm going to click on use visual builder. So in the visual builder, what we need to do here is to make sure that we have a single row with the gallery module. So I'm going to click on the gallery and then I'm going to click on update gallery. Now, this is where we get to choose the images that we need to use throughout the uh, gallery. So as we mentioned before, we're going to use 12. So I'm selecting the 12 right now. And then when you're done selecting, all you have to do now is to click on add to gallery and update gallery. Right. So right now it's only showing four images. That's because right here we have four. So let's change that to 12 and then now it's showing all the images so right now with the names you can see that this is a bit untidy so what we need to do to resolve that is to make sure that we remove the titles and the caption and also the pagination right so now that we have that in place what we need to do next is to click on design so here on the zoom icon color on previous tutorials what we used to do is to set the color here so we don't need to do this in this case because we don't need an icon but the most important part here is the hover overlay color so here we need to make sure this is taken all the way down because we don't need any overlay on these images because we want the images to show as they are okay so now that we have that in place we can go ahead now and click on save Next, we need to go into the row settings. Make sure that the use gutter width is set to one because this is what takes uh, the uh, padding between the images away. And that's exactly what we need to do because in the later stage of this uh, quick tip, we're going to show you how to add the padding manually using CSS. Okay, and then finally, we, need to, we just need to make sure that keep custom padding on mobile is set to on because we need this to look really nice when we view this on mobile devices. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and save changes. Next, it's time to add the CSS to our gallery module. So what we need to do here is to go into the module settings, and then we're gonna go into CSS, and this is where now we get to add the custom padding. So here, I'm just gonna paste this code, and straight away you can see that the padding that we have between these images is now three pixels. But you can change this to however you want, uh, depending on your design. So next, what we need is to make sure that we add the CSS class, because the code we're gonna add later on needs to reference this class that we're gonna use here. So the class we're gonna use is gonna be called Grayscale. So just enter that and then go ahead and save. So the next part of this quick tip is the fun part. This is where we get to make these all, all these images grayscale and also remove this hover icon. So let's go down here to the expand settings and click on the gear icon. So let's click on CSS and this is now where we need to add the CSS that affects this page. 
Now, there's also another way of doing this. If you want the CSS to be used throughout the whole website, you can do this by going into the theme options and then adding the CSS there. But in this case, we don't need to do that because we need the CSS to affect this particular page. Okay, so let's paste our first CSS code. So what the CSS code does is it adds the grayscale to 100% and also adds the opacity to 80%. So the next code we're going to enter here allows this image now to show through in color as we hover over the image. So I'm going to paste this image here and in real time you can see that now the image is now showing. But there's still a bit of a distraction here with this uh, hover icon. So there's also a way to get rid of it using CSS code. Okay, so by entering this code, now if we hover over these images, you can see there's no distraction. And I think this is a really cool effect. So once you're done with that, go ahead and um, click on save. And then you can adjust the padding around your um, gallery. So once you're done with that, go ahead and save. So that's your final design. And now you can see the effect is working. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. We will be producing daily video quick tips similar to what you've seen today. So until next time, thanks for watching and see you soon.